We are live. Welcome, everybody. Today is Tuesday. We are here presented by Bet Openly and Odds Jam. And we watched it. We watched Joker get it done. The We were talking about it before the show. There was comments on Twitter. By the hook, Gino got the under last night. And I love that it was Aaron Gordon blocking him to end the game after what happened early in that game. I agree. And I can't believe it. As Warrior fans, the second best thing. I'll take a Warriors win any day over anything else. But a Lakers sweep is is a pretty nice consolation prize. I I, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, did you see there's a, a ticket on Twitter uh, for a pretty significant number? Somebody had the Nuggets sweep, Miami sweep uh, on FanDuel. Uh, I, I've seen it posted on multiple tweets today. You know, saying, "Hey, should I cash out?" It's, uh, I mean, a hundred dollar bet. It's like like thirty k. Um, so I go hedge. You know, I was like asking, "Should I hedge?" I'm like, "Yeah, you go hedge." Like, I mean, you don't have the money. Like, send a DM. Like, we'll go hedge it for you, and we'll like take profit. So technically, so, it's favored to win right now because they're minus. So he better be getting slightly over fifty percent offered. Of course not. A Fanduel offered him like it was Fanduel. Fanduel offered him like six k. Right again, oh, the maybe. books just being predatory, and yeah, yeah, that's insane. You you need to go borrow fifteen racks from someone and bet fifteen right. racks on Miami money, or excuse me, uh, Boston money. Yeah, and just be right, just get it done. So, um, all right, we're gonna switch it up today. I'm gonna go first because it's our boy. Uh, he has done a solid since uh, we brought him up, and it's our odds jam play of the day. We're gonna start off with Yuri Perez of the Marlins, four and a half Ks. Why is this state at four and a half Ks? Because they're in Colorado today, right? The over under for this game, I believe, is 11 and a half or 12. It's now here's the thing I don't care if Perez gets lit like a Christmas tree today and gives up six runs, right? We need him to throw four or five innings. And their, their starters know you go into Miami knowing you're going to give up, your starters probably going to give up four to seven runs, right? I don't care about that in any sort of way his K prop should not be four and a half. They strike out at a 20% rate. You've seen his stuff. Again, if you're going to misprice this, we're going to take advantage. Uh, he's done well, and we're going to stay there. So we found this for plus 130 uh, EV. You can take it down to plus 110. Uh, if you take it any below that, um, adjust your unit size and scale it down. And then our other one, you're going to see moving forward personally out of me. Um we're going to adjust our K-prop bets, and I'm going to scale those down quite a bit. The ball, they're just using the juice ball. They're, it, you just saw it yesterday. There was almost 40 home runs in Major League Baseball yesterday. Um, we almost got back to even. We took a hit on the K-props, but I came back on the home runs. I needed one more. The Boston game didn't deliver what was on paper the best matchup of the night. But we love Big Pete today. He uh, He's 3 for 11 lifetime against Drew Smiley. He has a home run. They're in Chicago. So we like his home run prop. And then the Camby books, Barstool, uh, Bet Rivers, Unibet, those guys that are using the Camby back end, miss prices. This is plus 2,700 at FanDuel. You can get it for plus 3,500 for him to hit two home runs today. Um, I chickened out last second last night, and I said it in Discord. If anybody wants to call me out, I'll show you when I said it before the game started. I wanted to bet Jordan both two home run last night. I didn't pull the trigger. Jordan hit a home run and a grand slam. So we're going to take that, you know, as long as he hits the one, you know, we're profitable. We're going to take advantage of this. Um, and we're just, we're going to ride the hitters for now until major league shows us they don't want runs scored in the ball as a juice. So Pete Alonzo home run prop for plus three seventy five for a half unit two uh, up, you know, 0.1 unit to point half unit plus 3,500. And then we'll have our uh, rest of our plays up later. And I'm going to be infinitely more boring, more direct, and we'll get on and off. Uh, first quarter under 52 and a half, Boston, Miami. This is plus 115 right now. Boston cannot, for their pride, allow Miami to run them out of the building again. And I don't even know if they can stop Miami from running them out of the building. But I know that they can come out with a game plan that's advantageous to this under. So I am betting a narrative here. I'm also betting fade the public, distribution money, ROI, and EV. Plus 115 on a first quarter is just insane. I have this at 50 and a half. 
Only two points, not a lot, but two points in one quarter is a lot. I like this as my best play of the day. And then secondly, Trev was consoling me before, but I'll put this out there right now. Cleveland Guardians, they've been underperforming. The pitcher's been underperforming. Everything makes this cheap. I just show it at minus 123 as a very good price. I was looking at bet openly. Uh, a, a capper I really respect has this as a unit play today. Won't say his name. Uh, when he likes it, and I was already itching, I like buying low, it makes it official for me. So respect to the homie. If he's seeing this, uh, you influence this play. We'll jump off and go from there. You want to recap? Yep, I like it. It's uh, I'm gonna just I'm gonna quote in on that to give you an idea for the Guardians today. They're at home. Dylan Cease, right? Who last year was one of the best pitchers in baseball. His K prop today against the Guardians, who don't strike out, is only four and a half. It's six and a half or seven and a half every other game this year. Uh, so as I look at that, I like that line. So uh, we'll go back. Yuri Perez today of the Marlins over four and a half strikeouts, plus one thirty for a unit and a half. Uh, again, if you take it down in price, scale your unit size down. Again, I don't care if he wins or loses. I need him to get five Ks. I get he's in Colorado. We'll go from there. And then Big Peak gets Drew Smiley, the lefty in Chicago. We're taking him to hit a home run for a half unit at plus 375. But we're taking him for the double dong, two home runs, plus 3,500 for another half unit. As long as he hits one, we're plus money. The second one, we're swimming like uh, Scrooge McDuck. Cleveland Guardians between minus 120 and 123, depending where you shop this right now. Under first quarter, 52 and a half Boston, Miami. It's plus 115 at bet openly right now. Oh, I like it. Later, my dude. Awesome. Have a good day. See ya.